after some German classics, it's high time for a Polish classic. The Puppy Seed Roll. We're making quite a bit, so feel free to halve the amounts we give here. First off, you need 750 gram ground puppy seeds and pour 300 milliliters boiled milk over it. Let that rest so that the seeds can soften. I got two cubes of yeast. Of course, you can use dry yeast, but then you will need four of those and skip the whole pre-dough thing altogether. I added just a bit from our 500 milliliters milk. Again, just a bit of our 100 gram sugar and diluted that with my fingers. Then just add a few spoonful of our one kilo flour and let that rest to activate. After about half an hour, add two eggs, the rest of the milk, the sugar, 150 gram butter at room temperature and almost all the flour. Then net it thoroughly until you get a non-sticking dough. I like to gradually add the flour until I achieve that kind of consistency. Like I said, in total I needed one kilogram, but you might need a bit more or less. Cover the dough with some flour and let it rest for at least 20 minutes. While that's resting, we can go back to our filling. Add 200 gram sugar, one package of vanilla pudding or two tablespoons of starch with some vanilla extract, two teaspoons of cinnamon, the re eggs are enough, I added four as they were pretty small, 100 milliliters heavy cream and finally a few drops of almond extract. Mix that thoroughly and that's it. Of course you can add raisins or nuts or whatever you think might go well with this. Wow, look how the dough has risen. And here you see why I always cover the dough with flour. Thank God it didn't stick too much. Now I take a good portion of the dough and roll it to the width of the pan I was planning to use. I roll that to about a thickness of half a centimeter Spread the filling generously and carefully roll it up. While I'm preparing the other rolls, I cover the pan and let it rest in a warm place. Once that's done, I crack an egg, mix it a bit and spread the rolls with that. Bake the rolls at about 170 degrees Celsius for about an hour. But be careful that the top doesn't get burned or the dough inside ends up completely raw. Happens to me, trust me. I actually set the pans a bit lower after 45 minutes and even lowered the heat a bit so that no burns would happen. As soon as this delicious treat has cooled off, you can dig in. If you made too much or like us, like to make it once and eat it more than once, you can toss it into the freezer. It tastes just as good as fresh ones. Trust me on that. Well, this was day 10 of our advent calendar. The recipe is as usual in the description below. See you tomorrow for day 11.